Hello, my name is David, and I am going to tell you all a little bit about using Nanoloop 2.3. I am no expert with this software, but I've been using it for a little while, and I've reached the point where I feel like I basically understand it. So, uh, while still being no expert, I thought I would share a little bit of my um, knowledge and a few of the things that I have learned. Um, I'm really sorry about the video quality for this. This is not an expert, perfect setup by any means. Um, also, I'm running Nano Loop 2.3 on a Nintendo DS instead of a Game Boy Advance because the screen is slightly easier to record. Um, this is the screen that you will see when you first turn on Nano Loop, and this is intended for complete beginners, as in people who've never used the software before at all. So, let's get started. If you press Start, You'll see it's version 2.3, copyright Oliver Witchell, and this is the Nano Loop screen. Um, it's 16 squares. They're a kind of pink color on the actual Game Boy itself, on the DS itself, with a purple highlighted square going from top left to bottom right, which is indicating the active, um, the active part of the step sequencer. Um, if you press B, you will put down a little note. Um, if you press right or down or left or up, you can move your little cursor around the uh, 16 steps. If you're at the top, you can press up to go to the bottom. If you're at the left, you can press left to go to the right-hand side. So press B a few more times, and you can put down notes anywhere you like. Um, the little square that you're moving around, if you try and put a note down on an existing note, you will see that nothing happens. So you can only put down notes on existing notes. If you highlight an existing note and press A, you will kind of copy that note to the to Nanogloop's copy buffer. And you can then paste that note down anywhere you like. So let's remove a few of these notes for now. Um, let's choose the first one. If you hold down B over this note and press right, you can hear it going up an octave, up two octaves, three octaves, four octaves. So let's go back down a little bit. Um, this note is a little higher than the other four that we've placed, so if we press A, it'll disappear. We'll then press A to paste it back down again. This note is now copied into our buffer, and we can put it in a few other places. Um, if we hold down B over another note and press up, you can hear it going up a semitone. Let's go up just a little bit more. Go down back one, go back down one. Let's copy this one, paste it in a few more places. So, this is our R channel. You can see that indicated in the top left. Nano Loop has four different channels. L and R are the same. Um, S is slightly different and N is slightly different again. L and R are kind of um, monophonic synthesizers and they can be altered in quite a few different ways which we're going to look at a bit later. S is a polyphonic synthesizer, basically the same as S and R but it's polyphonic. And N is a noise generator. So what we're going to do now, we're going to press select and a weird menu is going to pop up at the bottom, but don't worry about that for now. So press select. If you press up once, you will go to the um, noise channel. If you press B, you can see we get our little cursor back, and we can put down a few noise notes, I guess you could say. Um, a and B work exactly the same here. B places a new note. A will copy that note to the buffer, and you can paste it anywhere you like. Um, let's press select once more, up once more. This will take us to the S channel. This is the polyphonic synthesizer, but we're not going to get into the polyphonic aspect of it just yet. So press B. Um, let's put down a couple of bass notes. Might be just a little bit difficult to hear on YouTube's not amazing sound compression, but trust me, that is a slightly lower note. Um, let's copy that one. And paste it a few more times. Um, press select once more. 
press up one more time, press B. We're now on the L channel. The L channel is basically the same as the R channel. So let's move over to the top right, press B. Um, if we put, we'll put these notes quite high just so you can actually tell what the difference between the channels, like the different channels are doing different things. So let's copy this one and paste it in a few different places. Um, we now have um, the basic building blocks of what might become a song at some point in the future. Obviously this isn't a very good song, this is just for educational purposes. Um, however, we do have some work that we might like to do a little bit more progress on next time. So what we're going to do for now is say that. Um, we're going to skip through a couple of menus with loads of options that we don't know about yet, but don't worry about them, we'll get into them just a little bit later. Um, press select once, press it again, and if you can see in the bottom left hand corner there's an icon that looks like an up and down arrow. So press your cursor left once to highlight that. Press B, and it will take us into a completely different screen. Um, it's got R, L, S, and N on the left hand side. This indicates our R, L, S, and N channels, surprisingly enough. Um, Nano Loop deals with some of its figures in hexadecimal, which is 0 to 9, then A to F, so it's a total of 16. Nano Loop can save, um, actually, let's just turn the volume down on that just a touch. Nano Loop can save 15 um, slots for each bank. So if you look in the top left hand corner, you can see 0, 0, this means that we're in bank 0, and you can see um, 15 save slots for um, each channel R, L, S, and N going up 1 to F. Zero you cannot use to save. The reason for that will become apparent a little bit later, but for now let's not worry about it. Um, what we're going to do now is save what we've done. So if you press um, hold down B, um, we have now saved our first slot, our first pattern in slot 1. Move down one note, uh, sorry, move down one slot, hold down B again, press down, save the second one, hold down B again, press down, hold down B again, press down. So we have now saved the R, L, S, and N channels. Um, if you press start, you'll move up to the top. This is where we can change banks, but we'll get into that maybe a little bit later. Press right once, and you will see the cursor hop just a little bit. And if you hold down B and press up, you can change through numbers and letters to um, make any song that you would make a song name. So let's call this song, uh, Song. Yeah, this is not the most interesting part of the tutorial, I appreciate it. Oh, did we go past it? So if you press start again, then press select, this will take us back out to our main menu. Um, and now let's switch off. Um, this is just to show you how to make a little bit of noise with Nano Loop, and then save it. We're going to turn back on again. He says, not particularly hopefully. Game Boy screen. See the Nano Loop screen. Press start again. Version 2.3. And now we're back. Um, as you can see, all of our work is gone. So if you press select, press up to go through all of the different channels, you see there's nothing there. Not to fear. Press select one more time. Highlight the little up down arrow. Press B. Um, and you can see our song. Um, it's actually highlighted in green. So if you move the cursor over it, hold down B and press up, we've loaded the R channel. Um, you can press B again to load the remaining channels. Um, if you highlight 0, press B and up, you will load a blank channel which has no, no sound in it. Um, a kind of useful trick here, if you hold um, A, press up, you'll load everything at once, press select, go back to the pattern editor screen and you can see all of our different um, work here. End of tutorial number one. Thank you for listening and watching.